it is. Because there are many opportunities for women out there, but most especially in the energy sector, we have lots and lots of opportunities. So my introduction, I'm Victoria Nandi. I'm a holder of a PhD in International Energy Law and Policy and an LLM in Oil and Gas Law, both from the University of Dundee. I can see my alumni. She's here, Sarah. And I'm the Executive Director of the African Energy and Mining Management Initiative. I'm also the founder of EMI. So, before I start, I see many young women out here, many young girls, and I'm really impressed. I should say that I think I'm the youngest PhD holder in Africa, especially in the energy sector. So when I see young girls here who are so passionate about the sector, I see myself in them, and I'm very positive, and I'm also comfortable that the future belongs to women right now. So the energy sector is a very wide sector. When we talk about energy, in most cases we tend to focus on oil and gas, but in recent years we're transitioning to a low carbon economy, so we are looking at renewable energy, we're looking at nuclear, we have a nuclear expert right here, also from the center, from the University of Dundee, and the focus should be, we shouldn't only focus on oil and gas as women, but we should also be able to take up other opportunities in the different spheres of the energy sector. There is no way we can achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals if the energy sector is not developed. Under Goal 7, we are look, they talk about access to clean energy, and we notice that in Sub-Saharan Africa, over 290 million people have no access to modern energy. The access being goal seven, it implies that all the other sustainable energy goals will not be achieved if we cannot have access to modern energy. And that makes the sector very important for us. It presents opportunities because it cuts across all the other sectors. I'll start with goal one, which is to eradicate poverty. There's no way we can eradicate poverty in Africa if most of our people have no access to modern energy. With eradication of poverty, we're talking about industrialization. How will these industries perform if we have no access to energy, modern energy? We spend a lot of time doing social works, cooking, and if I'm to, I'm to talk about, I know I have to focus on professional women, but we cannot forget our mothers and our relatives who are, in the, who are in the villages. They spend, actually I forgot to tell you, I'm an author of a book called Energy Access in Africa, so if you want a copy you can contact me afterwards. But in that book I discuss the connection between energy and gender equality. And I note the fact that women are the main users of energy resources. So that's just a brief background of why the energy sector is so important and why it cuts across all other sectors, even the agriculture sector. So as women, this presents a good opportunity for us not only to be involved in the energy sector, but also to make sure that we achieve the UN Sustainable Goals, because all the goals cannot be achieved if we have no access to modern energy. For the young ladies who are in here, Make sure you get the adequate education. Because yes, there are opportunities in the energy sector, but no one will just call you all. Oh, this is an opportunity for you, and since you're a woman, you have to take it up. No, 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 no. You have to work. Make sure you get the education. Make sure you get the professional training. For the young girls, feel free to volunteer in different energy companies. Even if they do not pay you, that helps you to get the necessary experience you need for you to be able to make it at the top. And then the other important thing I would like to note is I've already talked about uh, looking out for all the other opportunities in the energy sector, not only oil and gas. We have to see what is globally moving. So lastly, I'll tell you about our NGO. It was founded by women and 99% of the people uh, in the NGO are women. 
It's called the African Energy and Mining Management Initiative. I'm here with my colleague, Glorious. Glorious, please stand up. And she will give you brochures. We also have t-shirts. So for the NGO, myself, I'm a consultant. I'm a lawyer, but I'm also a consultant in the energy sector. But this is something we do voluntarily for the NGO to reach out to the women on the ground. We are also involved in publication of reports. We have the Knowledge Center. We share our experience, we share our research, because we believe we have a lot to offer. The NGO has a call of experts who have degrees from a lawyer, and most of them are lawyers, we have accountants, we have engineers, we have economists. So it's a good place for people to be involved in, share your experience, because we are focusing on the African energy and mining sector. Like I said, the energy sector cuts across all other sectors. Each one of you left up one person. Because at the end of the day, it's useless to have your knowledge when you can't distribute that knowledge um, to other people. And I also have a YouTube channel, Victoria Nalole. I discuss key issues in the energy and mining sectors. And also, I do invite different experts. So you will have a lot to learn about the sector from Amy, from myself, and from my team. Thank you very much.